This is a Jeb Adams presentation, season two, episode 18. This is a Bob and Case review of the Singer 201K. Welcome. Thank you for viewing, subscribing, and liking. Your help is appreciated. Please subscribe. In this video, I am practicing to remove and install the Bob and Case retainer. We will also review removing and replacing the hook. So here is the spring. This spring has to ride over that bit there. Now to get it off, I move this spring back here and it clicks and it stays there. And I have to push that forward like that. <laughs> the nose of the needle nose pliers is just kind of out here. I put them right on the ridge. Let me see if I can if I can do it right now. Get it in right now. Haven't I? There. It's in. So that's, that's the way to do it, is get whatever tool you're using, get it on that little ridge right there. And that's twice in a row I've got it in, so that's the knack to it. I'm really happy about that. I hope you guys are too. We all should be. <laughs> okay, so there, that's seated correctly there. You can see that spring is lining up, and it's supposed to go above that ledge. So i got to hold the hand balance wheel, the hand wheel, and then I want to push this. So I push the spring back a bit, and then just try to get it started on that ledge right there. And then I'm going to push with the pliers here while I hold the, the balance wheel. And I have to push that forward like that. <laughs> and what I want to show you is this, this ridge here. That's what I did different last time when I got it in. Instead of having the, the nose of the needle nose pliers just kind of out here, I put them right on the ridge, which is up here, but it's the same ridge that's, that's down there, and that's how I got it in. Let me see if I, can, if I can do it right now. Get it in right now, haven't I? There. It's in. Right? Yeah. So that's, that's the way to do it. Is get whatever tool you're using, get it on that little ridge right there. And that's twice in a row I've got it in. So that's the knack to it. I'm really happy about that. I hope you guys are too. We all should be. <laughs> so the ridge I'm talking about, this ridge right here, when it comes time to put this back on, we're going to lean heavily on that. So I'm going to hang on to the hand wheel. Yeah, it is moved up. See it there, how it's moved back a bit? So I'm going to put the screwdriver in there, hang on to the hand wheel. I would prefer if it came out a little smoother, but I'll take it. It's out. <laughs> so now, I want to show you what, what we figured out the last couple of videos, or a few videos, trying to figure out the right way to get this installed. So there's the bobbin case, and that's where it seats, right in there. There's a cutout almost to guide you right into line. I want to set this in its place, which is right like that. There's the, which is right like, like that. There, now it feels nice and flat and secure. Put the nose of the pliers on that ridge right there. And then hang on to the hand wheel. Yeah, it went in. Okay, so there, that's seated correctly there. You can see that spring is lining up. And it's supposed to go above that ledge. There. It's in. And I have to push that forward like that. So that's the way to do it, is get whatever tool you're using, get it on that little ridge right there. I've got it in, so that's the knack to it. I like it right about there. Now what am I trying to do? I'm trying to get it off without knocking the camera over. I push the spring out. What I need to do is hang on to the hand wheel so that that can't move. And then I have to push right here, like this. 
and I don't know why I'm so clumsy, but it always flies out. But that's okay, at least it comes out. Well, let's take a look at the hook while we're here. So once again, I'll hold the hand wheel. There, that's snapped loose. There's our screw. And there is the hook. There's the hook right there. There's the base. A couple of screws there. We're not going in there. Screws here. Screw there. We're not going in there. There's a cut out there to line it up on the little axle there like this. So you can't put it on wrong. Or maybe I'm maybe I'm succeeding at putting it on wrong. <laughs> oh there it is. Okay, so it's in there, which goes like that. Then we get the bobbin case retainer ring. The end that goes down has a ridge right there because it all goes on there. So we'll just put it up there like that. Let it settle. There we see our spring. Now the way I was doing it was if I keep this right on that ledge, it'll go right in. So I'll try it again. We'll see what happens. So right on that ledge and then it goes. Did you see that? There it is right there. Sweet. There, now it feels nice and flat and secure. It went in. Now to get it off, I move this spring back here and it clicks and it stays there. And I have to push that forward like that. And what I want to show you is this, this ridge here. That's what I did different last time when I got it in. The nose of the needle nose pliers, it's just kind of out here. I put them right on the ridge, which is up here, but it's the same ridge that's that's down there and that's how I got it in. I want to set this in its place which is right like that. There's the there now it feels nice and flat and secure. Did it go in? It went in. Yeah it went in. Cool. So mission accomplished. I really enjoyed playing with my toys today here. I did learn some more. I hope you did too. Hope you enjoyed being here. Thanks very much for viewing and liking and uh, subscribing. I really appreciate your support. Adios amigos.